History of Art is just the most fantastic A-level you can do. Uh, it involves lots and lots of different elements and is works so well with so many different subjects. Um, most girls are actually really unsure on what it is because they've never done it at GCSE and they might have only really touched on it a little bit in any kind of art they've done beforehand. What we really do is we look at art, sculpture and architecture from around the world and we look, go through about 4,000 years worth of history, so we go all the way back to ancient Greece right on up to uh, modern day. Like history or English, you basically have your source and you place it in a time frame uh, and then you analyse the source and you think about what's going on at the time and you take information out from it. It's really great for universities and employers because you are showing them this brand new skill that you have that you don't really develop quite as well in other subjects in terms of visual analysis and in terms of being able to look at something and take information out of it. Also, the architectural knowledge you gain is fantastic for anyone who wants to go on to being doing architecture or engineering. It gives you really good skills in those particular fields as well. We start out in year 12 doing a real overview of history of art. No one's done it before, so we start out at a base level of knowing absolutely zero. And we do a whip through of the history of art right up to modern day. We then look at two particular themes and we look at nature and identity and we see how those are reflected in art and architecture again throughout time and around the world as well. In the final year I'll probably speak to the class and see what kind of time periods that they are most interested in and I'll base the course most likely around them. Okay, so this year we are doing pop art and we're also doing art of the 19th century which is chosen by the girls doing the subject. In the last year we go quite deeply into contextual details such as any um, political stances, economic situations, uh, the relationship for foreign powers, what's going on with the actual artist himself. That's when we really get to know about a particular time period in real detail. Those girls that do study history of art, there tends to be quite a high number of them that do go on study at university because I think they realise that there's always areas of it which they do enjoy because it's such a wide subject. I love understanding the hidden meanings behind things. So one of the things I get real enjoyment out of is going past a painting or a sculpture or a building and everyone else walks past it and they just think, oh, it's a painting. And I know the meaning of it. I know what's trying to be said there. I know the kind of hidden messages and symbolism that you can see inside of it. It is a great, diverse subject, which gives you a solid understanding of the wider world.